won a race. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's of the Old Emporium and Collectibles. A very interesting shop. This is the side street view. It is on a corner. There's parking along the side street further up. There's parking in front as well if you wish to pay for it. These are the front windows. Didn't know exactly what to expect because I wasn't sure what the name of the store was from the signage because they have this more prominently displayed which is the Evil Knievel Daredevil Museum. And for that, you need to actually book ahead. It's not free, it's not part of entry to the store. It's not included in this tour, so you don't have to worry about that part. But if you are interested, while you're there, you can take in all of these interesting objects that they have. It looks like a one-armed bandit. An older mechanical type. There were other people in the store, or rather one person and another one person in the store. I don't think there was more than one person besides me. Um, it's got a reasonable aisle, but it's chock-a-block on both sides. Glass cabinets filled. They are some really lovely items that they have in there. On the other side, they've got a number of bays, which have got some larger items. You'd probably have to ask the proprietor to get to them. Another one-armed bandit. Ceramics, glassware, cigarette lighters, bottles, uniforms. Um, ephemera in the and there's some guitars of, of all sorts. There are clothing accessories. Uh, Are toy cars of all sorts. We have kind of achieved the back of the store at this point. So there are various skulls and so on. Across the gone across to essentially where the side street is. And that view there briefly. Hot Wheel car still in packs. The uh, very sized mugs from the UK, or at least they started in the UK. I'm not sure what kind of uh, pistols those were, but they sure looked more like flare guns or, or starters pistols of some sort you saw some coats there I think they were just a very specifically a collector item these you're seeing some things there that you couldn't I couldn't see and I'm not a short person so I was looking over top of the um, if you want to call it a display so here we see some Framed photos, there's some leather work, there's a one of those fortune telling 
machines. That was the other person in the store. He was primarily hanging around. That was the entrance to the Evil Knievel Daredevil Museum. So it's it's actually a separate component of the building. And what can I say? There's a, a phenomenally large amount of objects to peruse and examine. If you're looking for something very specific or leave, leave in a specific genre, I would strongly suggest talking to the proprietor because you're going to need to talk to him for a price in any case. I'm not saying there are no prices out set out on these objects, but anytime I wanted to find out it, something and what the price was, I had to ask. And sometimes if you group up a bunch of stuff, he yes, he will give you a, a better price. Some collector LPs. Some signage of um, flags. Here's some of the toy automobiles and other mementos and such. Just a bunch of watches, pocket and wrist. There's some of the Hot Wheels again. There's framed item items. Collector cars. Cameras of all sorts. Lens, long and short. The very long ones are actually quite old. Um, they don't have much, as much of an F stop on them, so they're, they restrict a lot of the light. There are some books from the set, and there are some other costumes. Those look like women's divers and diver's helmet there deep sea type with pressurized air supply looks like a hard hat with a visor there are some flags as well some metals there is a significant component of militariana There's Soviet, there's uh, Second World War German, there's Canadian, there's American, all sorts. And then there's even um, police badges, police badges and their uh, patches from, from their, whether it's their uniform or their shirt or whatever it's from boxed brand new in toy and toys new in box old stock of course now some more of the toys here we get some of the second world war german I think I have some stills of some of this, these items as on, in addition to what you see here. So you don't have to particularly worry about not seeing all of it. 
if there's something of particular that you're looking for best is to actually go and visit the place they are in Niagara Falls they're near the uh, regular downtown but not in it here you've got a whole collection of uh, items made from bones or looking like they're bones some swords and sheaths are included there some other toys of all sorts a couple of phones I had a friend who was interested depending on the price and uh, I think we picked up one of them some in the, these mugs I know they're a collector item for some folks there's a Zippo I don't know if you call it a display or you call it uh, something else, but they've got zip light. It must have been a convention for them to have a zip light beer. Various matrushkas. Some a little more modern. Those are political figures of a certain era. Uh, this is an interesting collector car. These, these are ones where the hoods and doors and all that open up. Uh, a curious book, 50 Years of prostitution, Prostitute Photos. Home of the Handyman, which is a Canadian hardware chain. A very large one, extensive. As I said, there were some German artifacts. And I think some of those are Russian as well. If they're not Russian, they're certainly in Cyrillic. I checked on the ad actual address, that's in Toronto, and the sup that super test station is now a McDonald's location. The Yellow Submarine has a toy. Uh, the, a variety of shields. I don't know if they're authentic. Uh, I'm not one for that. Uh, some military medals as well and pins Ottawa police uh, so on and so forth OPP I saw some other cities from the states as well there's an older military med medal modern ones there too another model but this one's got a very specifics there's the guitars and I think those are a collection of strings for them vintage ones you're into knowing about some specific individual or pair of individuals here's here's a write up on them one of the one armed bandit, bandits that we've seen well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this we'd appreciate it if you give us a, 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 a subscribe and a thumbs up and maybe even mark for, uh, on the bell for yourself to get notification for the next one thanks a lot folks bye bye